Today we have adopted um, communication on the social dimension of the economic and monetary union. As you know, we have already in the new system of governance of Europe, namely in the euro area, very important uh, rules for an integrated governance, but we have not yet introduced in this system of governance some indicators of the social dimension. Today we have made this, I think it's very important, it shows the attachment we have to the social dimension and we do it in a way that makes our economic governance more integrated. The European Commission has always stated that to have an economic and monetary union we also need to look at the social consequences and the social uh, dimension of it. That's precisely what we have done today and I hope the Member States will support this approach. The communication adopted by the Commission today marks a further step towards consolidating the social dimension of the Economic and Monetary Union. In particular, the EU must rebalance the governance of the Economic and Monetary Union to better address problems of divergence between Eurozone countries' employment and social situations. The extent of this divergence has been underlined in the Commission's latest quarterly review of the EU's employment and social situation, also published today. The first essential step is to measure divergence between countries' employment and social situations. The communication proposes that this divergence should best be measured by a specific scoreboard that would highlight negative developments concerning overall unemployment, the numbers of young people not in employment, education or training, the so-called needs, the percentage of the working age population at risk of poverty, income inequalities as measured by comparing the richest 20% of the population with the poorest 20%, and last but not least, real gross disposable income of households. The Commission has proposed that uh, the European Union's and the Member States' overall economic policies uh, would take more account of uh, the employment and social issues through uh, stronger surveillance and coordination of the EU Member States' employment and social policies in the framework of the EU's yearly economic policy making cycle, which is also known as the European Semester. Multilateral surveillance in the framework of the European semester would therefore be better equipped to prevent employment and social problems as well as competitiveness and fiscal problems. The communication also underlines the need for member states to ensure greater targeting of EU structural and investment funds on sound employment and social policies when preparing the plans for spending these funds in the 2014-20 to 20 period. And finally, in terms of labour mobility, the communication underlines the Commission's commitment to helping all those people that choose to work in another member state to be aware of job opportunities there and to overcome any obstacles they may encounter.